With this demo, I'm going to cover our Hitchcock theme that was added as part of our um, version 4 of our portal. And this is on the service portal. We didn't add this theme to the CMS side, so it's just on the service portal side. Um, so just a quick um, uh, kind of we'll go through the theme a little bit, and then I'll show uh, bits and pieces of it. So in essence, this is the starting theme. There's an, an overarching background I'll show in a minute. There's an, a background that also shows when you scroll. That's an option if you want to uh, kind of have a, a different different image show when they scroll down or not. Um, one of the things you'll see here is all these navigational tiles. They've all been set up with kind of flip behavior. Um, these tiles can be adjusted via your instant options. You'll see we've created separate navigation or unique navigational tile records for the Hitchcock theme. Um, so they're kind of isolated. In each of these you see have this type of flip. So if I change them to being basic, they wouldn't have that. The hover would have kind of a similar effect, but not as much of a flip behavior. So that's a very prominent aspect. And also another prominence here is the search is kind of at the top of the, of, of the screen. Um, one thing that's really unique about this theme than some of the other ones is this kind of pinned sidebar. Um, so it's really got a separate set of widgets over here for like my incidents and requests, my active approvals, some announcements that scroll. As I go down, I also have this uh, service health. You'll notice as I go from page to page, this whole thing will stay open. I can always interact with it. This is also something that the records that I can interact with, I can click to an announcement to see the details. If I had an approvals, I could approve that. Or like in the case of an incident, I come in here and provide an update to add an update to my particular records or requests. All right, so that gives me some options there. Um, as I scroll or go outside of the home page, <clears throat> one of the things I want to highlight here too is that when I'm not on the home page, you'll see the search bar is not up at the top. Instead, what happens is our toolbar up here at the top right adds another option for search. So you'll see a search here. Um, I can also interact with this with our keyboard shortcut. If I put a forward slash, it'll open and close that uh, search as well. Um, other things to highlight, so the I want to list has been expanded here to show on this, this item. Uh, this is where you can access the chat. Favorites are here, which are also wired to the keyboard shortcut of Control F. So I can launch those and open and close those. My cart and then my events and notification messages also show up in the icon. And the other thing that's a little different, this is similar to how we have our casino theme. Um, instead of having the menu of items or a navigational menu at the top, uh, kind of taking up the header, they're kind of uh, put as a, a uh, is a menu <clears throat> kind of open and close menu over here that I can get to my various kind of uh, navigational points All right I can also get to my favorites as well as my recent activities from here so I mentioned uh, I mentioned earlier scrolling so if I scroll down beyond this page you'll see my background image kind of changes if I scroll back up it'll change again um, and that's defined in the header uh, widget so if I were to so in our theme we have a link here you'll see this where it's doing some scroll and if, it's, if it gets beyond this um, uh, in a scrolled page, it'll add a class of scrolled. If it gets past a certain top, it'll remove that class of scrolled. So we're basically adding a, uh, a CSS class to the body um, as you scroll up and down. And then in the actual theme itself, the theme style sheet, you'll see background image defined here and then on your body dot scrolled background image of here. So that's kind of how you can assign a different image if you want to show a different background image for be scrolled or not scrolled. <clears throat> and same thing could be done if we didn't want to do images, we could do a different background color as you scroll beyond um, uh, from the, the main or scroll, scroll too far past. Last thing I want to cover is kind of how this looks on a mobile phone. I'm going to pull this up on a, an, I, an iPhone 7 device, which takes a moment here to load. All right, so here's how on a mobile device, you know, big buttons for these navigational tiles, right, that I can, can interact with. You'll see again, same behavior as I scroll. It'll kind of change my background image, give me a little visual effect of that. And then the majority of this are these buttons on this page, right, a pretty simple mobile interface, and then access to the menu to go do things like making orders, which I can then drill into and find ultimately items to request.
and I can make those submissions. So that covers kind of what I wanted to show as far as a different style of this new Hitchcock theme, kind of has a big prominence on the background image, uh, some boxes overlaid on top of it, and the also unique feature of it being that kind of sidebar pinned um, content that you can interact with <clears throat> kind of throughout the whole experience. Thanks.